Hey, what's up, fellas? Happy Friday. This is the uh, weekly dividend reinvestment plan, our 12 stocks that we've invested in. And for those of you who don't know a lot about this, this is one of the ways I can help you become financially independent over a long period of time. I'm talking about years, decades. So our account has 12 stocks in it. And a dividend reinvestment plan means that once you become a shareholder of record, you can then invest directly in the company without a stockbroker. So there is a caveat to this, which means that there is a company that I use and have been using since 1983 called Computershare.com. I don't know if it's 1983, but I've been using it for a long time. Computer share gets paid directly from the companies you invest in, so you don't have to pay anything. We have a free account. I think it's coming up on two years uh, from there uh, that we invest. Well, I seeded the – this account is to show you how time and compound interest pays off in the long run. And I don't think that any of you should be invested in things – and short term. Short term or what I used to call fast money and I used to sell drugs. I'm not a nice guy. I'm just trying to help you. And I don't want you to think that I'm being benevolent or altruistic or anything like that. I'm helping you guys out because you're my future. And I don't want to be afraid to leave my house when I get into my 60s and 70s. All right. So I'll get back to the point. Because computer share um, gets paid from the companies that you invest in. They don't charge anything for for you and uh, any fees or anything like that because they get paid from the companies. All right. So uh, this month, this week, and I do this every seven days to show you how you can progress and regress. Um, our goal for this year, December 31st, was to make it to $19,000. And as of close of business today, we have $19,413.66 in the account. There is the account name, computer share, and it goes summary profile, activity documents, and the rest of that message is da 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 And I will uh, scroll through and tell you this 12 stocks that we got. But first, I'm going to give you, I'm going to take you a little bit sideways. I don't believe that you, as a younger man, should invest in anything you don't understand. I invest and have been investing, as actually since 1983, only in stocks that I use or understand how they work. I'm not a hedge fund guy. I'm not a tech guy. Uh, we do have, you know, let me just go through the stocks. I'm going to turn it around and uh, show you what we're going through. Our first stock in there is uh, Amazon.com. It closed down. And here, one more thing. Uh, there, uh, The Fed told the Wall Street and all the bankers and all that kind of stuff that they intend to raise the prime lending rate another percentage point, whatever that's going to be. And that has uh, caused everybody to take money out of the market, which means that uh, we lost money. So let me get to it. Last week, we had $19,657.75 in our account. So we lost 244. We didn't lose. <laughs> we, well, actually, we did. We lost. Uh, we misplaced $244.09. All right. So when I set this account up, I wanted to show guys that time and compound interest outweigh get rich quick schemes. I will say also, I will tell you this also. We also have a ton of I series bonds from a very long time ago till now. And, and again, this, this money we're using in this account is not – this is part of the 10% uh, or 20% that's ours to keep for the rest of our lives. So we're going to use this money to leverage a good loan in the future. Say we want to uh, buy a new car. 
Say we need emergency money for medical bills. Say we need a new transmission. Say we need something else like that. You can go to the bank or any financial institution and show them that you are a regular, disciplined investor. And that's not including our savings accounts and all that kind of stuff. So if I needed a $15,000 loan tomorrow, let's say Saturday I go in there, and I show them and I use the $19,413.66 as collateral, I'm securing the loan, so I'm going to get a better annual percentage rate. And on top of that, we're going to pay the loan off early anyway. So that's why we do this at I can't even tell you how much money, how much stuff. Anyway, uh, so let's just get into the stocks and why we uh, have these 12 stocks. All right. So I'll turn them around, I'll turn it around, and hopefully you can see it. Hopefully my hands are uh, being a little bit more stable. Uh, the first stock we have there is Amazon.com. We have just a little bit over 22 shares, and the share price is down today, but it's $129.12. Uh, the second stock we have is California Water Service Group. We have 35 shares, over 35, just about, we have 35 shares and some change. And that stock is $48.28 per share. We'll go down. By the way, that's water. We only invest in every, anything that we use or that everybody uses. I use Amazon. I know everybody on planet Earth needs water, so California is a large, massive state, so well, anyway. Chesapeake Utilities Corporation, we have 11.9 shares in there, and it's $107.13, and it is also down. Um, but Chesapeake Utilities Corporation is in a part of the country which is called the DMV, which is the District of Columbia, Maryland, Northern Maryland, and Virginia. Most people have a lot of money, and we all need electricity. Uh, the next one down is Costco Wholesalers, and although we only have 1.185 shares in it, each share is uh, $558.59, and that's up. So right below that, gas, uh, ExxonMobil, and I've had Exxon. Well, I've had ExxonMobil back when it was just Exxon. So we have, in this account, we have $33.00 some change and it's also up $114.94 per share. Marathon Petroleum Company is another oil and gas company but they're the ones if you know anything about trucking these are the gas stations that are out in the middle of nowhere so that's why we invested in them. RTX is the Raytheon Corporation, and we have nine shares, 9.56 shares, and that's because there's several wars going on. And considering that a new war just kicked off between Azerbaijan and Armenia, uh, anyways, let me go down. Uh, next one down is the Clorox Company, and they do a lot more things than just make cleaning supplies. So we have eight shares in there, $132.66. Coca-Cola Company is one of the longest holding shares. It's the first one I ever bought. And I bought it because of a guy named uh, Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett, who run Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, they said, you can't go wrong buying this stock and just holding on to it. So we have 31 shares and 31.863 shares, and it's up $57.60. And, you know, Coca-Cola makes a lot of different things, not just Coca-Cola. All right. Right below that is the uh, stock we opened up called the J.M. Smucker Company, and we did that specifically to make fun of the uh, cat and dog ladies. Um, they produce a lot of cat food and dog food and chew toys and that kind of stuff for cats and dogs. So that's um, $126.59, and it's down. <clears throat> Right below that is Tyson's Food, and whenever I go to Walmart, I usually buy the uh, chicken or the beef and that kind of stuff, and it's usually produced by Tyson Food, so uh, that's why we're investing that. Everybody needs food. You need food, you need fuel, you need gas, you need oil, you need electricity, and we don't invest in anything we don't understand, so we have 16 shares of that, and it's $51.12, and it's down. Uh, the last company we have, which rounds out our 12 individual stocks, is Walmart Incorporated. I shop at Walmart. I buy gas at Walmart. And in this account, 
I've had Walmart for a very long time. In this account, we have uh, 14.335 shares, and it's up $162.35. So, again, I'm not, I'm not going to be the guy that talks to you about hypergamy. I'll be the guy that wants to talk to you about money, uh, just figuring out the difference between a career and a job, uh, learning how to defend yourself, why you need to stay physically fit, and uh, talking to you about giving yourself a break because of the mental and emotional effects that men go through. A lot of women just think we're made out of fucking concrete. And you can say whatever you want to us and we don't get our feelings hurt or anything like that. Now, I'm not saying that makes you soft. I'm not saying you should ever cry in front of a woman. Well, there's only one woman on earth you should ever cry in front of, and that's your mom. So that's just my personal opinion. My deal is um, I just want to help you be successful. And one of the most important things in your life is going for you to understand and be able to manage your money effectively. You can't live check to check and survive. I'll say that again. You cannot live check to check and survive. So we do the 50, 30, 20 rule. 50% of your money is to pay all your bills. I'll say that again. 50, 30, 20. And I, the only book I recommend to get you started if you don't know Anything about money is called The Richest Man in Babylon. It's written by a guy by the name of Clayson. It's 136 page long. It's not that long. Anyways, I'm, I'm trying to get to the point and not waste your time. Money is a cornerstone to your ability to, to survive, thrive, and improve your standard of living throughout your lifetime. That is something I can help you with. That has changed the course of my life. Being able to make money work for me. All right. The 50, 30, 20 rule is 50% of your money is to pay all your bills, insurance, medical, all that kind of stuff. 30% of your money, 50, 30, 20, but 30% of your money can be used for investments and savings. And now it's trying to log me on. Um, and 20% of your money is used for savings. Now, uh, the only other difference between all of that is in the book called The Richest Man in Babylon, we always talk about 10% of everything you make is yours to keep forever. This account is something I'll pass on to somebody uh, when I pass away. Um, I'm never going to use this money. The other, I can't tell you. If you go into the bank for a loan, and you have like 15 plus thousand dollars and you want a five thousand dollar loan you get treated pretty well so anyways all that to say this just trying to help you you matter to me you're way more important than anybody wants you to believe and i don't want you to think that I'm just another guy that's trying to take something from you you don't have to like you don't have to subscribe. I don't have a book. I'm not selling anything. I'm just trying to help you. And if you do not believe how important money is, you're making a serious mistake as a young man. Love you guys. Like a fork in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.